Hi everyone! Today I have yet another Master of Diabolism unboxing video. Last month, the first two volumes of the Japanese publication of the novel came out. Since I absolutely love this series and it has a vice grip on my life, and since I actually know some Japanese, reordering this was a no-brainer. By the way, I'm sorry for the off-center video. I got so excited while filming this that I didn't check my phone's placement, but hopefully it's not too bad. Honestly, I had no idea what I wanted to talk about this week. Well, besides a general idea, normally I don't know when to stop talking, but my energy is running low this time. Which is totally fine, it happens. I also thought about not talking during this video, but that's not nearly as fun, right? I ordered these through CD Japan's proxy shopping service. Different stores had different pre-order options, and I went with Animate because I preferred their limited edition goods, which are an acrylic panel and postcard. In addition to the normal limited edition set, Volume 1 also had a separate, special limited edition, which includes even more goodies. So guess which one I bought? Talking about merch feels so weird to me. Prior to this year, I had almost no interest in ever buying any kind of merch. But ever since getting into the Master of Diabolism, all of my money has been siphoned into buying random, beautiful junk. It's wild. I didn't even know what an acrylic anything was until this year. But anyway, now I can't live without my collection of expensive, pretty things. More so than my pretty merch, having a series I love so much in Japanese means a lot to me. I may have mentioned this before, but I actually took Japanese all the way to the advanced level when I was in college. And in the advanced level, the goal is to read as much as possible. So I should be able to read this, but honestly I've been struggling a lot, which makes me kind of sad. This summer, my goal is to start studying Japanese again and hopefully gain back what I learned. As you can imagine, language learning is an important hobby to me. It makes me feel like I'm connecting to the world, not only by learning about new cultures, but also by finding literally new ways to express my thoughts. It also keeps me grounded. As weird as this sounds, when I'm really anxious and mentally frozen, listening to my Korean lessons for a few minutes, for example, actually gets me moving again. Even if I'm not completely paying attention, <laughs> it's truly remarkable. Back to the Master of Diabolism, I believe the price for the book and the acrylic panel set was 33 US dollars. For the special limited edition, however, the price was 90 dollars. For what I got, the illustration book, three posters, panel, bookmark, and standee, it definitely feels a bit expensive. I'm still happy to have it though because everything is so beautiful. But next time, I'll probably think more about whether it's worth splurging extra for merch. Okay, to be fair, I think I'm only being this critical because the extra acrylic panel did not come with a way to display it. I know that's such a minor issue, but this was so close to being perfect. That one issue aside, I'm truly mesmerized by everything I received. The raw footage of this video actually went on for over an hour. So imagine over an hour of just me fawning over the gold embossing, the pretty illustrations, the shiny bookmark, you name it. That's actually why a lot of the clips were sped up. After a really taxing and stressful week though, it felt nice to just sit and admire all of this. Like I mentioned earlier, hopefully once I've brushed up on Japanese, I can properly read the novels too. And that brings us to the end of this video. I'm sorry for the random assortment of thoughts today. If you listened to me the entire time, thank you, that means a lot. Sometimes I put this pressure on myself to make my videos super interesting and informative, but that's probably not the most realistic for me. Just chatting about what's on my mind is really fun too. If you also had a ridiculously tough week, I hope the weekend has been good to you. Stay well and I'll see you next time.